Man, the notification bell must not be going out. Hey, YouTube! Hey, Brad's Workbench, what's going on? What's up? What's up, Everyday Fleet Tech? What's going on, guys? Well, made it back to the shop. Uh, you know how that goes. Back here fixing stuff. Got one project done. Waiting on the truck to get back so I can do another. What's up? Yes, yeah, so and we're not really doing tarp shop today. You want the long ratchet? Yeah, the long ratchet. I want the long quarter inch ratchet. I'll probably end up getting both of them. <clears throat> you know, the die grinders is what I want. I want a six pack of those motherfuckers. The long ratchet is October 1st. Uh, is when the long ratchet will come out. They never gave us a price on the long ratchet they have they didn't really say yes the m12 die grinders they said that they're gonna bring out a uh they're gonna bring out the long they're gonna bring out a straight one next they did the 90 degree first and then they're gonna be the whatever yeah i would say that the ratchets are going to be very similar price to what they already have. And the die grinders, they said it would be like a stubby impact price. So I'm guessing bare tool, that 140 bucks. Yeah, the cordless fish tape, that thing pulled two tons. Like, they had it hooked up to a pallet of shit. It was, like, dragging it across concrete. I'm like, holy fuck. They got some cool stuff, man. It was actually cool that they, you know, like, all the automotive guys were all guys that, like, work on stuff. You know? It wasn't, like, a bunch of fucking just, like, uh, you know, corporate shows. You know? Yeah, but I, I said, uh, the show is in Milwaukee. Actually, uh, M18 Stubby, that is on the list. We talked about that, that we needed an M18 Stubby. And uh, that was what we need. I, I have not tried a grease gun from them. Um, the reason that I don't try grease guns is because um, I don't, I use the, I use the, uh, I use, fuck, what, what is that? I use the 120 pound kegs, you know, is what I use. So it's got a lot of other stuff going on here. I don't know when they're going to release uh, more impact sockets. Yes, uh, you're right on the half-inch torque wrench needs more than 150 foot-pounds. But what that thing will do... Yeah, JR Little, I already told him that the one-inch impact needs an extended avenal. Uh, needs an extended avenal. Or... Uh, uh, extended anvil or whatever you call it i said that's what you need it'd be on every tire changing truck ever uh let's see yeah tools in action was not there i don't think they got the invite this year uh i did meet some really cool people man uh this dude james uh he was from i think it's Maverick's Garage. He's out in California. He does like rock crawlers. He's awesome. Uh, who else? Humble Mechanic was a great guy. I met a dude that's close to me. He's an Instagrammer. Uh, his name was Travis. And his Instagram is Working Class Garage. He's awesome. I got to meet the Flat Rate Master. You know. Uh, what else? I got to meet Brian 
Essex from How To Automotive. That guy's cool as shit. But they did say since they brought out one inch impacts and they have three quarter inch packs or impacts, sockets are on the way. Uh, yeah, they got half inch, uh, half inch impacts or they don't have half, they have half inch sockets. Uh, how many teeth are on the quarter inch long? Um, it's whatever, I would say whatever the fuel ratchet has now, it's very similar. So 72 or whatever. Yeah, I met Knox. I hung out with Knox. Knox was there. Knox is not really a weirdo. They did not give us the price on the torque wrench. I bet the torque wrench is going to be, I don't even know what it is. You know, but the one inch impact, they said, start shipping in two weeks. So that means hopefully I'll have a one inch impact on the Primi in two and a half weeks. Because apparently, oh, the, the torque wrench is $5.99 sold on Instagram. Okay. Six hundred bucks. Well, the thing you don't even have to ratchet it; it does it all of itself. <clears throat> yeah, Snap-on's going to lose money. Uh, the the grinders are going to be. The guy said the pricing wasn't worked out, but it was going to be in the stubby impact price. So somewhere around there. Uh, 1,800 foot-pounds for the one inch. It is called Mandingo. My favorite tool was, to be honest with you, it was the die grinders. That was the coolest fucking thing. I was like, dude, this thing, it, it's perfect. Like, if they're bare tool, 120 bucks, I'm telling you. I already told them I need six of them. Cordless air hammer or an electric hammer is on their list to be made. Everybody told them, everybody that I was there uh, that was with us in the automotive said electric hammer. So, air hammer. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping that they make one eventually. I gave them an idea how to make one uh, using electric magnet technology. Um, I think that that's probably the best way to make an electric air hammer, um, in my opinion. But I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, I did not see a uh, mini chainsaw, but that would be awesome. The torque wrench was cool. It had the best screen I've ever seen on an electric torque wrench ever. Like, it was, it was iPhone quality. Like, it was beautiful. And, like, what you're not getting about that torque wrench is, is you can set it to, like, let's say it would be great for tire guys, right? <clears throat> you can set it to 70 foot-pounds, okay, or, you know, 100 foot-pounds on some lugs, and you just squeeze it, and it'll go to 100 foot-pounds, and then just turn it a little bit to finish it off. Um, the torque wrench accuracy is the same as every other company, plus or minus 2%, which is totally fine. Every other, every other fucking torque wrench is in that spec. Yeah, I'll be getting more Milwaukee stuff. I mean, I'm going to tell you, they rolled out the red carpet for this hillbilly from Ohio. Rolled out the red carpet. It was 
absolutely amazing. They do a great job at this show. Like, everybody up there deserves, like, they are totally amazing. Totally, totally cool people. Uh, it was, it was definitely, definitely, uh, a, you know, kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to go. Uh, that's why I said yes. And apparently I'm pretty popular up there. Like a lot of people know me <laughs> for some reason. Uh, there was some funny stories told, uh, that happened in Milwaukee board meetings that were like funny, <laughs> you know, yeah, I would say that this was a first version, um, of their torque wrench. They will come out with one with angle in it. I'm sure there'll be a gen two version of that. Um, they would kind of, I think that how a lot of companies do stuff is, is that, you know, they're, they built that to do another job. So it's a multi thing tool. They had it in the, like the electrician section. Uh, cause apparently like when you build these huge, like bus boxes, I, I don't know that much about electric, but they torque, uh, they, you know, they torque the bolts and stuff on there. Uh, they are, I don't know if they're gonna, they, they should make a signature big dick banana hammock, uh, you know, for the junkie, but, uh, the, they, I, I call it Mandingo, you know, cause this thing is going to be whatever. They told me that I got to come up with the mode levels again. Like what to call each one. So I said, well, I got to see what it is first. Um, it's going to be awesome. Oh, okay. I'm popular in the Montana area. Well, it's just funny to hear some of their, like all the guys that know all the, all the, like what they call like the, the product managers uh, that, that know me. You know, like, and it's weird going there and people recognizing you. Like, everybody's like, hey, Justin. I'm like, hey, I never, never knew you. Yeah, they need an extended anvil. Yes, no more snapping the batteries. I told you, I told, uh, I, I told him about the battery problem that I had, uh, that how I've broke so many of them because it's just too heavy. Uh, but, uh, no, I didn't sign any autographs. Oh, I think I got to sign some shirts before we send it. I'm going to sign some stuff and send it up there. Uh, no, my wife is not making me any chocolate filled croissants. Uh, you know, my wife had a... <laughs> My wife had to, uh, what was I going to say? My wife had to run the show here for three days, so she's probably a little upset at me. Oh, you need a shoe wee? Yeah, I came home to a shoe wee worth of messes, I can tell you that. Yeah, I'm going to sign some of the... I told him whatever... Uh, sweatshirts and hoodies that I have left from the Big Dick Banana Hammock. I'm just going to box them up and send them up to the Milwaukee people. They'll, they'll have a good time with that. I've never took a Milwaukee Impact apart and put, uh, put grease in it. No. You know, that's one thing I ask about the die grinders. I'm like, does this not, this, do, I hope this doesn't uh, have fucking, uh, they did display a cordless. We didn't get to go through that. So, uh, they did have an electric or electric hydraulic Porter power thing. And I told them I need 20 ton jacks or a 30 ton, maybe even a 50 ton jack 
that I could use that to jack up trucks on the side of the road. So the guy said, yeah, he'll, he'll write that. Uh, the staff behaved okay. Uh, I would not say it was great, wouldn't say it was bad. It was okay. Yeah, Marty, how the fuck are you? Yeah, Tecton Tools probably should make me a tool tester, but I don't think that they're ready for that yet. <sighs> you know, there's a lot, like a lot of people were up there. Man, I, oh, I met uh, Vince from... Uh, you guys all know Vince from v VGC Construction. Dude, he's awesome. <laughs> Vince and all those guys. I rode, I rode next to him. Uh, I rode next to him on, on one of the bus rides back. We talked for, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes. I like old Vince. You know, just meeting a lot of people in person was awesome. I met Stanley from Dirt Monkey. Uh, yes, Fuzzy, yes. Um, I did talk to April, you know. <clears throat> I talked to her going to dinner. Uh, she's, she's cool, you know. I tell her every Sunday morning I watch her build shit. You know, there's a lot of people... There was a lot of guys there that mess with dead tree carcass. Ugh, dead tree carcass, you know? I was like, man, sawdust sucks ass. I want no part of that. I'd rather deal with metal shavings. Yeah, meaning vents. There was another girl there from Tool, or what is her? It's I think it's a Tool Girl Garage or something. I didn't talk to her, but I saw her there. You know, like all the automotive guys kind of hung out together. You know, like that's kind of like we were all grouped together. Uh, so that's kind of like where we hung out with. You know. You know. Yeah, you can put a C fifteen in. Uh, you can put a C fifteen in a three eighty nine. It'll go right in there. You just the motor mounts might be a little bit different, but other than that, it'll be all right. Yes, James, uh, Jay, my son is a pretty smart kid. He knew exactly what we were gonna fix on that, um, and he went to that spot right away once I gave him the pliers. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, he has a intuitive mind. He, his mind thinks like me, you know, yeah, the one inch gun, I think for industrial stuff, like working on a big equipment, that gun's going to be awesome. You know, I told them, I don't want to hear that air compressor run anymore. So the only reason I need an air compressor is to fill up tires. Like a 20-ton hydraulic fucking jack would be the shit. Even a 50-ton. Yeah, I know I need to get a booster seat for Enzo. I just threw him in there. We went up the road. It was not dangerous. I never went anywhere close to even the speed limit. I never did any of that. Uh, you know, he didn't move around in the seat. He, he, he listens, you know, uh, and all that stuff. The one inch impact bear tool is 699 with a battery and a supercharger. I think it's nine, 999 or something like that. Nope, Hard Knocks Forge did not wear his goggles the whole time. All righty, see you later, Brad.
Yeah, that's the first time that I rode him around in the truck. I mean, just to see his eyes. He, I mean, he's great. Yeah, you know, my kid does not have his eyes painted on. He uses those things. Uh, it's amazing. Yes, it was an invite show only. You are correct. They did not release like a Gen 4... Uh, they do have a drill that doesn't uh, have whatever. Oh, Knox was on uh, VGD's live stream. Yes, six ninety nine for bare tool for the one inch impact. Yes. Yeah, Everyday Fleet Tech, um, they will probably never get an invite to something like that. Um, if you have to go around and tell people how important you are, um, you're probably not going to get on there. Uh, that show is for people that, um, A, know how to carry themselves and market themselves in a way that... Uh, a big company like that would be, do business with them. Um, I'm not saying that you have to be politically correct. Um, I am not politically correct, but I think people understand, uh, you know, like Vince told me this, you know, he goes, you, you see you on YouTube. Uh, I guess they watch my channel and, uh, you know, he was like, I figured you were going to be some kind of asshole. But he goes, you know, just talking to you and, uh, you know, for 30 minutes, I realized that you're a decent person and, you know, you're willing to help people out. And I said, yeah, that's that's kind of me. You know, I said, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot to this. Yeah, I'm a real person. Yeah, hide your kids, hide your wife. Mandingo is coming. Two weeks. I'm hoping to have it here in two weeks. Uh, Matt G6, yes. The show was extremely overwhelming. Um, they It was uh, fast-paced. Um, not really, like, super fast-paced, but... <sighs> Uh, they move you around to sections. Dude, the packout stuff is amazing. Like, I know that there is some packout nerds, but they got these things that you can mount to the floor of your truck and then stack your packouts on it so it doesn't fucking fall all over the place. And I'm like, man, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not an asshole in real life, you know, I guess. I can be an asshole if I'm pushed to the limits, but most of the time I'm I'm kind of not like that. Yeah, being glued to Instagram all day was definitely worth it because there's guys that it's like you can't get enough pictures of everything that they got. No, the Home Depot Milwaukee tools are not cheaply made. They are the Milwaukee tools that anybody can buy. You know, yeah, the pack out stuff, dude. They had these like, they had like tables and benches made out of the pack out stuff. It was awesome. They also have crates coming, which was cool. So you could mount those like pack out uh, mounting brackets to a wall and make like a complete shelf out of these crates to put like parts or saws or anything in your truck or your shop. You could organize your whole shop using Packout, which would be awesome. Yeah, nuts and bolt trays. That's what I want the, the Packout for is nuts and bolt stuff. You know, like I've been thinking more heavily on this service truck. Um, I don't know when I'm going to buy it because uh, right now I'm trying to buy some property to build a house on. 
So that takes precedence over a shop truck right now. And what, but for the pack out thing, I could get some of those instead of spending 20 grand on a C-Tech box, I could get the pack out stuff, mount that bracket in the bottom of it and then have like, you know, common nuts and bolts that break. I could put tarp parts in there, cables, all that stuff, electrical connectors, all that type of stuff, and then it'd be in the service truck. That's what I was thinking it for. You know, it would be totally awesome. Totally awesome. Uh, and the Milwaukee people are totally cool about, like, you know, they don't really want you to get a tool and then talk about it for 30 seconds. They want you to use it. You know, like, use it. And when I saw that stuff... Uh, you know, it would be awesome. Why do I have tablets in my dump trucks? That's how I do uh, my daily log sheets and pre-trips. It's all electronic. We have no paper. Uh, and it's easier. It goes to like a cloud system and I can download that so I can know how many miles it drives and all that stuff. Also, it automatically puts how many miles we have in a file uh, for doing IFCA every quarter. So my wife does not have to add that up. What's up, Knox? Yeah, I don't blow goats. So that's why I have the things. And also, uh, the guys can use it for GPS to find out where they're, you know, if they have to find an address or a plant or anything like that. It's on that. They don't have to use their phones. Yes, Darren, I'm going to tell you, the die grinders are absolutely the shit. You know, the shit. I can't wait to get them. As soon as I saw them, I said, I need a six pack of those. And the guy asked, uh, the guy asked, um, why do you need a six pack? I said, because we're fucking lazy. Okay. And I'm not switching different bits on it. I just want to have one that already has all of them ready to go. Yeah, it's just an electronic system. It's easier It's easier to do that than having all this paper. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, a lot of people buy the Milwaukee stuff because they see me using it. It's great. It's a great product. Yes, everything that they had there was you could pick it up and use it. You know, like we, we were die grinding stuff, you know, uh, you could, you could do any of it. You know, you got to play with all the electronic stuff. They had the one inch impact, uh, for that stuff, you know, like a guy that's going to get it too is, uh, this dude right here. He's on Instagram. His name is East, East coast lineman. Look him up on Instagram. This dude He'll have the one-inch impact, too. He does lineman work. So he said he would be interested in that. You know, we met a lot of cool people. This dude, Cotton Top 3, he's from uh, Mississippi. Uh, this dude is cool as shit. Him and his wife were there. They were nice. Uh, they had it on some big bolts. Yeah, the pack out radio looked pretty cool. <clears throat> Dude, they had so much stuff, so much stuff. Yeah, the pack out radio Knox does sound good, didn't it? It sounded pretty good.
Dude, Milwaukee warranty, th th I have never had a problem. Never. Never. That's me. And I've broken a shit ton of batteries. <laughs> they, I just take it back, awesome. Yeah, you can feel the difference of the one inch. It hits a little hard. It moves around. Uh, you can tell the difference. They also came out with an extended an anvil uh, tire. It's specific for changing tires. It gives you uh, three different modes. So you can do heavy duty, uh, what they call a medium duty truck tire, and cars, and it kind of gets you in a range. Yeah, the 6727, it, it, it does everything you want. The one inch stuff is just for like bigger, bigger trucks so equipment. It's going to be great. Yes, I was the only heavy duty there, heavy duty guy uh, there. Um, you have to find in uh, what they call Milwaukee Authorized Tool Center in your area. Um, like the one close to me is Cincinnati Electronics. Um, and then you can send it back. I think that they will make a one-inch impact with an extended avenue, yes. Um, okay, it was a hell of a lot lighter than a normal one-inch air impact. Way lighter. Way lighter. Okay? Like, probably the best thing. Uh, I can order from uh, Ohio Power Tools, but I think that Milwaukee is going to send whatever we kind of saw there. I think we get sent some of that stuff. I'm, I'm not sure how it works. Nobody really talked about it. The people that said that they were there last year said all this stuff will just show up in the mail. It's kind of like they already have everything, you know, they already know everything is is what kind of I've been told. I, I don't know if that's true. Uh, nobody really said anything about it, but I'm assuming it just shows up. I don't know. Yes, the 12 amp hour battery is still the flagship battery on the M18. Yeah, I'm going to be pumped for that delivery. You know, the old intro is going to come back for that for that entry. I got something special for the guys up there at Milwaukee. I told them I would do something. Yeah, if that one-inch impact shows up, I'm, I'm, I will shit my pants probably, yes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing that's how it works, you know, like... You know, I I don't know. I didn't ask about it. The M12 Surge, I, I wanted to ask for one of those, uh, but I didn't know if we were allowed because that, that's they also have this little uh, drill that you can pop off the fronts, and they got, like, angle. They had something else. Like, you could use a regular drill. They had an offset thing, and uh, that looked pretty fucking cool. What is the name on the tablet? What do you mean? Um, I got one, in, one one inch socket. Um, I probably need to get some more. <laughs> but the surge thing looked really quiet. Like it would drive sheet metal screws like, you know, 
It is. Yeah, they are iPads. Is what they are. They are our iPads, and I had an app built specifically for my trucking company. And all that stuff. I may sell it later. Or I may sell access to that app once I get it fully refined. Because there are some issues with it, but other than that, it works pretty good. Yeah, the long reach ratchets. I told them I don't even use the short one. I always use the long reach. I like it a lot better. Uh, I have the 3.8 snap-on one, but I can't wait to get the uh, the M12 long one. You know? Do you use an iPad too, Blake? That's what I use, yeah, for, you know, my time and everything like that. It's all on there. Um, I don't know anything about... I don't know anything about any truckers feuding. I know nothing about that. I'm not I'm not in any other trucking genres, okay? Uh I have no clue. Yeah, Milwaukee is kicking Snap-on's ass. You know, like a lot of people got rid of all their Snap-on stuff. I wish I could get rid of all mine at a decent price. I'd get rid of all of it. No, the guts don't get shaken out of them iPads. They work pretty good. You know. I can't wait to try the I want to I want the Milwaukee stuff. I'm sure that, you know, we'll get it. Now, I don't think they're going to do things in color. I think they're red. They're branding their color, you know, their tools red. That's what it is. I don't know. I think it's just a brand thing, you know? And, you know, they have been red forever, so why do they, you know, why are they going to change that? Yeah, dude, just wait on the Milwaukee one. Uh, you're going to be a lot happier with it. Yeah, Mountain Dew and cigarettes are going to kill me, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I like the M12 stuff because, see, the Snap-on one, you can only get the 2.0 batteries, right? Well, the M12, I get those 6.0 batteries. That's my stock battery, you know, and they just last so much longer. So you don't have to change them as much. And I've had a problem, like, taking some stuff apart that even a fully batteried my 14.4 would not take it off i put the 3.8 stubby fucking impact on there and fucking buzz it right off you know like i'm not running a health food channel here Okay, so I'm not giving anybody any tips on how to live a healthy life. Okay, because tip number one, don't go into the dump truck business. Okay, if you would like to live a healthy life, don't go into that. Okay? Not going to happen. Okay? Step two, okay? Probably, you know, I don't... Uh, you know, I don't know what else to be healthy, okay? Um, I own one DeWalt thing. Uh, other than that, no. I own one DeWalt drill. I never use it. I don't know where the fucking charger... I, I fucking... I don't know where the chargers are. Uh, it's fucking... I don't know. No... 
I will, I, I'm not changing my name to the Milwaukee Manic or anything like that. Uh, you know, I am, listen, this is, when you're talking about branding yourself, Okay, why would you put another company's name on your thing? I should have thought about this before I started my, before I started my first one, you know. Um, but you know, YouTube's about branding yourself. No, Matt, there was no talk about high voltage stuff coming from Milwaukee. I mean, I saw some stuff that's top secret, but, you know, I, I don't know what the hell it is. You guys will just have to wait and see. Just like everybody else. Um, I don't know how much the long... They didn't tell us how much the long... Uh, how much the... Uh, how much the stuff was. If they did, I didn't pay attention. You know, I, I'm sure it's going to be the same price as the other stuff. Maybe 10 bucks more, $20 more. I don't know. But either you're going to buy it or you're not going to buy it. I don't really think that price has much to do with much of anything. I, I'm going to say it'll be very competitive. You know, no, see, they, Michael Jones, they talked about that. They said that, you know, they don't need the M18 battery. They don't need to put two on to make more power. They talked about that. You don't need that. You need better motor technology and better other things to get the same production out of that, you know, they're not going to go to a two battery system. Yeah. That that is it, Blake. You know, I am the motherfucking boss. Right, I'm not branding myself for another company ever again. I will use their stuff. I will show it in my videos, but I'm not going to be called that because this is about branding yourself, not anything else. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because they make their own batteries or they make their own engines. And stuff like they showed us their prototype machine shop. You want to talk about some shit, dude? They had stuff in there that I was just like, "Oh my god, we got to get that." They got an EDM machine, you know. Uh, what else did they get? They got twin spindle five axis, five axis my Zach fucking milling machine. Our twin spindle lathe, that is the shit. What else do they got? They got fucking a ton of CNC stuff. I'm telling you, like, if you, if you ever, like, took a tour of this place, it's fucking amazing. Amazing. You know, amazing. Because the one thing that I will say that what I liked about Milwaukee when we walked in there and did the tour... Um, is there are nobody old working there. What I mean by that is it's all young kids or younger people. So they're really driven on making a better product, making technology pushes, not just saying, well, this is the way we've done it for 30 years and this is the only way we're going to do it. They are willing to say, no, that doesn't work. We have to figure this out. And we have to figure it out in a short time uh, short time period. Yes, they got millennials over there getting shit done. Okay? Done. You 
you know, they've got, those people know what they're doing and they're excited about making stuff. You know, here's what that show is really about. Those people spend a year, nine months working on all that stuff and coming out with new products that the customers ask for. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that customers or people working out in the fields are asking for this stuff. Okay. They're asking for like, hey, dude, can you make this electric? Instead of saying, well, no, we, 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 we can't do that. They say, okay, let's go back and fucking figure out how to make this. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, everybody that was there in the automotive group, we asked for a fucking electric hammer. Said we need a fucking hammer. Okay. Because then everybody would throw the compressor fucking away. It would be junk. You only need that to fill up tires. And then you could turn the breaker off to that thing. Because it's it would be awesome. I think five years from now, <clears throat> Milwaukee is going to have an air compressor that runs completely on batteries. <clears throat> Uh, I don't see them growing the M18 line into appliances. I don't think they're an appliance business. I think that they are a... Uh, I think that they're a tool company and realize that. Yeah, DeWalt may have a cordless compressor, but I'm talking about like a cordless compressor that can actually do maybe more than four CFM a minute. I'm talking a fucking a real fucking air compressor that you could blow up a truck tire with. Yeah, I'll bring back the old intro. I got, it's it's gonna come back, fuck it. You know, I mean, I'll just deal with demonetized videos. It's no big deal. Travis, they do listen to their customers, you know. And they want to make, they want to make all that stuff. They want to make everything great. Yes, kind of like a worm compressor, yes. I have a feeling in five years they will have enough technology to make a cordless real fucking compressor. What's a demonetized video? That's when YouTube tells you uh, you can't put any ads on this or make money because you fucking cussed in it. No, I don't think they would make an M18 car. They're not, they're not going into the car business. They're going to be... Yeah. Fuzzy, I gave them an idea how to make a hammer. I, I think it would work. You know? Uh, I bet you they will make a jump starter pack. You know, nobody really, nobody really asked for a starter pack. We all wanted the damn, uh, we all wanted the fucking electric hammer. Now, I don't think they're coming out with that either. Yes, Milwaukee is definitely worth the, the their tools are worth the money that they sell them for, yes. You know, they're in a price point. Now, you got to remember now, I mean, people are out here, you know, you're bitching about a fucking, you know, the one-inch gun. Even I kind of complained that the bare tool was $600. Okay, but 
I went and looked. You know how much I paid for my half inch 18 volt snap on one? 550 bucks for that fucking thing. So I thought, well, if snap on made one, okay, they would want $1,800 for the motherfucker. Well, that's, that's fucking crazy. So when you really look about it, it's, you know, it's a lot better. That's a, that's a decent price for what it is. Uh, my system, I made my own sheet and stuff like that, but yeah, it's very similar. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on it one time. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure that... I, I quit buying Snap-on electrical products. I, I don't buy any of them anymore. I mean, the ones that I have, I got. Other than that, I, I'm not buying anymore. Because it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, a good Ingersoll Rand one inch gun is 500 bucks. Yep, then you got half inch line to it, two fucking fittings, and then the compressor, you got to have at least 30 CFM a minute to run that big bastard, you know? Like so you're you're fucking you know, you're oh shit, you're you're upside down, you know, that's 1000 1500 buck investment, maybe more. You know, and then you got all that hose and shit like fuck. No way. The one inch thing is not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. You know, you can tell that the motor and everything is all beefed up. I mean, it's beefy. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than the half inch gun, but it's still, you know, uh, I mean, it's still I don't know what it says. I'm going to put it, uh, I'll weigh it. I mean, we'll try to weigh it. Yeah, 600 bucks for a hose reel. Yeah, there you go. So when you add all that stuff up, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, I know, Fuzzy, I, you need to sell that thing. I need to sell all my stuff, too. <clears throat> Um, Alan, I think the day of metal boxes coming out, I, I don't think we're going to see that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that'll ever come back. Metal is just too expensive. Um, the blue molded cases is probably, I'd hate to say it, but the, I hate blue molded cases too. Uh, I, I have a feeling Here's what, here's, this is my opinion, and I don't know if it's true or if they're going to go down this route. Um, but with the packout system, I have a feeling you're going to get cases that instead of blow molded cases, they're going to come in packout type boxes. So you can lock them down in your vehicle or you could lock them on your toolbox. You could lock them on anything. And the case is part of, you know, the goes with the pack out system. If I had to guess, I would say that's where it's going to be headed to. That's where I would take it. Um, if I worked there, I would ask for that. Like, dude, most of the time these people are going to throw these blue molded cases away. But if we could make the case small enough and all this shit where it could just stay in the pack out system that we already use, um, I think that's going to be, that would be where I would take it. If I was a tool company, that's what I would do with it. <clears throat> 
you know. Because then, you know, people could get the pack out system and then everything kind of bolts together. Or clips together. You know what I'm saying? It would be awesome. Uh, no, one inch impact will start shipping in two weeks. Starts shipping. So, uh, Mandingo will be here in under three weeks time. Uh, you can probably pre-order it on like Ohio Power Tool and some other stuff already. Yeah, Fuzzy, I would like to see them get rid of the, you know, don't put the charger in there. Just put the tool and the accessories. And, you know, you could laser cut some foam in there and then it'd be in the pack out system and you're fucking good to go. You know, I think that would be better. That's what I would do with it. You know, like next week I'm going to work on editing this video from MPS. You know, because I shot some stuff. I shot stuff like, you know, I figured not a lot of people get invited to this. I wanted you to give, I wanted to give my viewers the experience of what it's like to be there with, you know, us. You know, if they didn't get to go. So if you ever got invited to the show, you kind of know what to expect. Yeah, I don't have any of those Brizer stickers, <laughs> you know. Uh, I did not meet Tool Boss, but he was there. I did not meet Tool Boss. Uh, he didn't come up and talk to me, and I didn't sink him out. Yeah, well, you know, I'm pretty tired. Uh, like, going to these things, like, people, you know, I'm sure that there's going to be some people like, oh, you get this shit for free. You know, you're a fucking asshole, and... All this shit like well no dude it's really it's not free man it's not fucking free you know I have to you know there's a lot of things to go into it to get to where you can get stuff shit sent to you for free you know it's not like you just show up and people are like oh you know it, it takes a it takes some fucking effort No, knackered is not English. You know, like, I feel like I got something in my eye, like an eyelash in my eye, and that's fucking aggravating right now, and, uh, you know, some other shit. Yeah, I've been talking, you know, and no matter, you know, like, you could say what you want, but no hotel is, like, sleeping at your house. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of shit to it. And then you don't even know what time you got in the room or how you got there. You know, when things happen like that, you know, it's, all, it, it's fucking unbelievable. You know... Yeah, I got to find this cotton top, dude. You know? Yeah, he's from Columbus, Mississippi. There's uh, Toolbox Buzz. I don't know who those guys were. There's this dude that does a, a tool podcast. 
Uh, yeah, there was good food there. Uh, they had good food uh, pretty much everywhere. I mean, uh, the one... All right, see you later, Fuzzy. Uh, they had some uh, tacos that were really good. Um, they had these chicken wings that were pretty good. Uh, what else? They had, a, they had, you know, it was good. You know, when you're trying to feed, I mean, the goddamn, they probably had 300 people there. You know, like, there's a shit ton of people there. Yeah, April had, uh, April had, I guess, a lot of people hanging on to her. I don't know. You know, she's just a normal chick. She is a very pretty lady. Yes. Uh, I would say that April is a classy lady. Uh, she is no DBS, you know. Uh, she's cool. Thank you, Clint. You know, April was a very classy lady. She's cool. You know, it's kind of hard to explain because they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, what? They're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, well, I own a trucking business and then I have a YouTube channel. They're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't got any more Tekton tools to review. So, like I said, I haven't been buying very many tools and accessories. And I plan on sticking to that, you know. Um, I, I just plan on not, you know, like I got to refocus some of my assets here onto some stuff that we need. You know, if you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, I do have enough tools. Okay, I got enough shit. Yeah, a promotional code would be pretty cool. I don't know if we actually get that. Yeah, I do have three of everything, you know. I'm also lazy, so I like to have... I don't like to walk very far. <laughs> I got a lot of shit. Yeah, April has worked on her channel really good. I mean, it would have been nice to talk to more of those people about how you grow your YouTube channel and all that stuff, but, you know, like, I'm I'm content where I'm at, man. You know? Uh, I, I mean, would it be nice to have fucking a million subscribers? Yeah, but do I really need a million subscribers? Probably not, no. You know, what am I supposed to do? You know? Like, if I focused more on YouTube and less on my business, would that, what would that get me? I mean, I thought about that very many times. Like, you know, what, what would it be if I just solely focused on YouTube? Would I have less headaches? Yes. Is the money maybe similar? Yes. But then I have nothing to talk about because I don't have anything to do, you know? Like, so... They both have to go hand in hand, and I can't focus solely on YouTube when I have a business that I'm trying to run and constantly expand and constantly do better. Um, what I did realize is I need somebody to help me, uh, you know. I would like somebody that could fill my role at some capacity, yes, but should I quit doing what, what uh, is going to be the best for my family? No, and that's my, you know, you know, that's my goal is to do whatever that is. You know, my goal is my trucking business. That has to be my number one focus. There is 18 families that I feed out there, and I have to constantly worry about them. There's 18 people that need, or 19, including myself, that have to make a living out of what, what I do in this office. So that needs to come first. Other things need to come second. 
just a philosophy. <clears throat> Would I buy a T880? Probably not. I don't like the mirrors. I like the Peterbilts. I like having one brand. Easier to get parts. Because everything is very similar. You know? I would love to have my tool, uh, tool chest office desk, but, you know, they did have this pretty cool fucking work cart there. Mm. I'm 38 years old. This is how old I am. 38. They want over 1K for a Milwaukee brand? What are you talking about? 1K. Yeah, Benji. Yeah, what I'm doing seems to be working, you know? Oh, I look like it? Yeah, I'm old. I'm not young. You know? Did I talk to Tim O'Brien at all? I don't... Who was that? What does he do? Oh, I don't know if I'd ever go visit uh, Cotton Top. I mean, we just talked a little bit during dinner, you know. I don't know who that guy is. Oh, is he, is that, let me see. Yeah, okay, that's Cotton Top then, yeah. I talked to Tim. He's a cool dude. He's into chainsaw and stuff, which I thought was interesting. You know, there's a lot of other people. You wouldn't believe how many of these marketing events these people go to. You know? Shoot, I gotta go pee. I mean, I'd like to... I think the guy has trucks. I haven't looked at his channel. I'm gonna look at it, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Keeping, keeping all the same truck brand is the way to go. I Hold on, I gotta pee. I'm back. Had to get another Mount Dew. Man, everybody must be busy. We don't have the normal people in here today. A lot of guys must be getting stuff done.
Yeah. Uh, my thoughts on the death system on my truck, it's part of life. Uh, not going to get away from it, uh, you know, so you just have to deal with it. The best thing to do is take care of it the best you can. Regen your trucks all the time. Put them in manual regen. Don't let that system get fucked up is the best the best advice I can give you. You know, that's my theory. You know? The best advice I can give you. Yep, keep them clean. Keep it clean. That's the only thing you can do. Other than that, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what repent game over I won is. I don't know what that is. Oh, you need a rotary hammery link? Uh, I can get you an Amazon one. Let me see if I can get you an Amazon one. Because they got a new one that's an inch and three quarter. Um, Milwaukee guys are supposed to be sending that to me because I told them I use it all the time to clean out asphalt. And I'd like one that hits a little bit harder. So you want to get the SDS, hold on here. Let me see if I can find it here. SDS, fuck. Uh, I think it's going to be right here. Yeah. Hit. Um, shit. Yeah, here we go. Hold on here. I'm trying to find you one. Here's the thing that I use. And this works really good. There's your link. Oh. No, I'm back. I thought you needed a link, so I went and got it for you. Sorry, I didn't know. But if anybody else wants a link for the rotary hammer, that's what I use. Chisel bits. Also, what I found with Def Fluid, and I've worked on a couple trucks with, uh, I've worked on a couple trucks with DEF problems, okay? And what they all seem to have in common for trucks that have DEF problems is, uh, They use junk death fluid. Okay, because you ask them, hey, what death fluid do you put it in here? Oh, you know that cheapest shit you can get from Tractor Supply? I'm like, stop putting that in there. Stop. I've had really good success with the Peak Blue Death. Not to like toot their own horn, but I've had zero emission problems and people ask me what 
what is the secret to the DEF problems? Okay, always run the best quality DEF fluid you can and manual regen your trucks. Manually regen your trucks. If you know a truck has high idle time, regen it every weekend. It will fix a lot of problems. You know, run, you know, I would suggest if you have more than three trucks, get a 55-gallon barrel of DEF fluid of the Peak Blue DEF. Find somebody to come fill it up. Run that type of stuff. You know, think about it. It's not that hard. When people, you know, but I've worked on a couple of them that they've had regen problems. That's, that's, that's the reason. You know? Thanks, Left Lane Trucker. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the content. What's up, Brian? Yeah, Enzo is getting big, isn't he? His, his birthday was yesterday. Uh... It was definitely... Uh, his two year or his, well, he's two, he was two yesterday. I'm so excited. Uh, he's getting so much better. Like, man, I'm going to tell you that three days I spent away from him. It was hard. I, I don't think I could do that every week. No way. I mean, I told my wife, I was like, man, I left Tuesday and I don't think he was saying this many words. And then today he was real talkative in the morning, you know, talking about his golf balls and all this stuff. Uh, you know, he, he, you know, he had his daddy shirt on. He has to wear that all the time. I mean, me and my wife bought him probably five of them. So if he wears a daddy shirt one day, the next day he, you know, he has to wear another one. So I was like, yeah, we got to get him some more shirts. He, he's crazy. Yeah, I figured people would like to see him, man. And uh, it was even shooting that, uh, even shooting that video, it, it put a smile on my face when he smiled. Like, it made me like, okay, this, you know, this is what I work 100 hours a week for, you know. Yeah, we can talk about it. What do you want to know? The long reach ratchets look awesome. Okay. Uh, they're the same as the short ones. Um, they're just extended anvil or extended reach. That's awesome. The die grinders. Oh my God. Those are so awesome. Um, you're free of movement without the without the airline on there is absolutely, it, it's a different feel. It felt more balanced. It felt one of the most balanced tools that I picked up was the die grinder. It, it just felt right in your hand. Like that may s seem weird, but it just felt like burp, burp. You, you could really do work with this thing. Um, it has four different modes. So you can, you know, like one is 10,000, the other one's 15,000, one is 20,000, then the other one is 25,000. So you can really like dial in for different stuff. Yeah, the, the, the die grinder was my favorite tool and the one inch impact. I, I can't wait to touch that. The torque wrench was kind of cool because it's, what, what I mean by, People, I don't think people understand that you type in, like, let's say you want to go to 100 and 100 pounds. There's no turn in the bolt. You just pull the trigger. It runs the bolt into 100 foot pounds. You know? You know how awesome that is? It's fucking awesome. Well, 
Well, um, they said it would be can similar. I think the torque gun uh, was five hundred bucks or something. I I don't know. It wasn't that bulky under the hood because we got to try it under this Lexus they had there. It it, it wasn't that bad. It's no different than any other electronic torque wrench, to be honest with you. It just doesn't do angle. But anyway, I got some trucks back, so I got to go make sure they get all fixed and do some stuff like that. I got some work to do today, and then I can get home to the, to the kid, and I got a whole bunch of billing to fix. So my weekend's pretty much kapooey. But it was good talking to you guys. Uh, yes, I had a great time at the Milwaukee thing. Totally awesome. Can't wait to go back again next year if I get invited, uh, which I'm probably pretty sure I will. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, like always, good talking to you guys, and uh, I got to fucking go.